Alright, this is like immediately after the how to install video finished. I literally like ran out of my 10 minutes. So here we are, we see Android is upgrading. This is not the how to install. This is just kind of giving you like what's different, what first things I notice, and etc. So the how to install video will be in the description below. If you want to manually install this without waiting for Sprint to finally push this to your device, because this could roll out over like a week or two period. Like not everybody gets the update at once. So if you want to go ahead and install this right now, right this second without waiting, first link in the description and click it, one of the first links, and it'll take you to the how to install. Really simple, just throw the file that I linked to in the how to install video on your SD card, flash it, and then this is the very first boot up from that MDL to MF9 update. All right, so we're a minute into this, upgrading calendar, finishing boot. Let's see. All right. Well, that's quick. Desktop loaded nice and quick. Seems to be pretty smooth. Very nice. Um, we'll go to settings real quick. And we'll go to more. And we'll go to, yeah, that does look different. The little about device thing. And then you'll see 4.2.2 still. It is MF9. MF9 build number and in it MF9 baseband oh and it's telling me the device is being rebooted okay whatever and that clock was correct it is currently midnight <laughs> um yeah I stay up a little bit later because I wanted to go ahead and get this video out there for my Twitter follower that mentioned me and told me hey are you gonna do a video on this MF9 thing so shout out to you buddy I don't have a phone in my pocket, or I would say your name. A link to the tweet will be in the description, so it is what it is. Why did you update? Or why did you reboot? Come on. Oh, that's another thing. Since I did the thing, the tar and it wiped it, we're gonna go to, um, oh, yeah. One of the things it says is, um, if you go to applications, yeah, you have an on SD card thing now, so you can like press on it and then tell it to move to SD, ah, oh, you stupid. All right, move to SD card and like, you could do this one, Oops, sorry, my bad. Go on here, move to SD card. And this is a 16 gigabyte Extreme Pro card. I would say about four to five times faster than this card right here. So while it's only 16 gigabytes, and it clearly says right here, I have 12 gigabytes free. Yeah, I have 12 gigabytes free. So you don't get 64 gigs, you don't get 32 gigs, you get 16, but it's extremely, extremely fast. So like if you were to put Need for Speed or any games that you play a lot on your uh, external SD card, now that it supports it, you could freaking, in theory, have a super fast phone. Um, also, it's supposed to free up some storage space as well. But, um, so secure boot status type, mine says Samsung. Developer mode has been enabled. Sweet. All right, so let's let's see. It's supposed to be. Oh yeah, the top part. As you can see, it's kind of transparent and it blends into the status bar. So there's no real like cut off where it doesn't show it anymore. And then under here. You also have smart pause, whatever that is, I don't know, but yeah. And you're also, like I said, it's supposed to have more space for apps. So if we go to storage, uh, right there, um, available storage, 9.17 gigabytes, almost 10, not bad, not bad. 
Um, and again, uh, one of the big benefits is if you have a 64 gig card, uh, I only recommend moving the big apps that are like, you know, at least a few megabytes. The stuff that's actually taking up space. Um, moving that to your external SD card. Because like this Extreme Pro card, man, it's going to be butter smooth running apps from it. Um, so for security, I don't really notice too much difference. Ah, uh, you get more storage, about, I don't know, I don't know what else to show on here. Connections, um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to show you. If I find anything else, I will let you know on Twitter, twitter.com slash www.joshdew, and that's about it. I really, I mean, I haven't had time to really play with this, so this is just kind of like a first look more than it is a review, but I'm reviewing it, so it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to install this, MF9 update without waiting for Sprint to push it to your device. Links will be in the description. Um, if I'm able to root it with CF Auto Root, I will update the description with that information. If uh, Auto Root gets updated later on to support MF9, I will post on Twitter and let you know. I'm on Google Plus, I'm on Vine, Instagram, pretty much everything. Just search www.joshdo and you'll find me. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I am out.